up guys it's me and diamonds mc here giving you guys some redstone lessons now i've built some contraptions for you to give you some bit a bit some tips on redstone now my first contraption is obviously my password lock door now the code is one one two three four five and then my door opens. Now this is involved because they're all the circuits are all connected, but when this is the lever that I do not use to make it, yeah, they just all connect. So now my second contraption is like a circuit, so like A and B, and then this is labeled A or B and B. And I may be copying Seth Wing. With the A's and B's, he just gave me some help. Now, you're going to need both of them. So, for example, A. B. It puts on the light. Because this signal travels through here and gives the power to the redstone. Instead of this happening, and then this still cannot be powered because of that. So that's the main thing there. Um, hold on. Hold on. Pause this. But, so this is also a repeater, like timer repeater. So like, it just keeps repeating. So let's say dispenser. Grab one dispenser and then let's. So let's say, and then it just keeps repeating itself. Because of the redstone compare, it is facing that way. And if I turn that off, it will not work. Yeah, you pretty much need that. That's the main thing. And then you just need this and the block right there. Yeah. So that is called a repeater, like time repeater. Now what will help you is that glowstone can travel up and out, but not down. So let's say, let's grab some redstone and some glowstone. Glowstone, and let's just grab a lamp. Alright, I'll turn it to. There's two. So, it can travel through itself. Because it can travel up. I don't know why, it just does. And then it can signal to its. But as you can see, it cannot travel down. My, I, I'm pretty. Yeah, it cannot travel down on itself, but it can travel up. So that's a good tip on making contraptions with glowstone. Now let's get into the hopper to the chest. So all you need to do is put something in there, and then it goes into the chest. Or if I grab a chest and a hopper, and then I grab some items here, and then I just fix that, and then you put that that hopper under it. As you can see, just like this chest. Just to hop it. Now, if you put all this in there, it slowly drains into the. It slowly drains into the 
item happens. As you can see, it's slowly raining down. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's the there, and I'll just grab the chest and so you're gonna get into the lessons. There we go. Now we got A and B. So it does not matter which one you push. Unless this one or the other. And this one's like about A or B. If you guys get that. And this one is called the off torch. So if this one is powered, this is off. Because if I turn this off, It would be on, but if I turn it, this lever on, this torch would be off. Now this is added, I think in 1. No, 1. 1.5, I'm pretty sure, it's called the repeater lock. Now if that repeater is pointing at another repeater, it locks itself. So, if I grab a redstone torch, if I break this, it'll be normal. But it locks it, and does not allow itself to go through because repeaters cannot do that. You would need a piece of redstone. Oh, wait. You need a thing right there. A repeater. If you want to use a lot of repeaters, right there. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, basically it for redstone lessons. But I want to show you guys one more thing. I mentioned in my password lock tutorial on how to build that. Um, to instead of I don't think a repeater works for this. I do not think I wouldn't try though. This is easier just make a two block, put this down, but redstone leading to that and then just continue doing the same thing. It works. Yeah. So thank you all for watching my Redstone lesson. Um and I'll see you all later.